Okay, before we begin to install the blade, make sure that both guide roller adjusters are fully backed off. And your blade, the grooves will face down. Slide the blade into position until the grooves engage with the grooves on the rollers. <coughs> Tighten both, tench both guide roller tension adjusters until they're in contact. And now we go to fine tensioning them. We must fine adjust the tensioner. You see how sometimes the wheel follows, sometimes it slips. All we want to do is finally adjust it until it makes good contact and doesn't slip. And no tighter, you don't need to keep tightening down that. That's just right, you have the minimum load on the motor with the full contact. And we'll do the same for the other side. Now that's good contact. as tight as you need it to be. Now we install the flange with the notches facing down onto the spindle. And so the two holes are facing perpendicular. We use the face spanner to engage the two holes. And tighten with the T-handle wrench. Now we turn the drive tensioner. Right now the wheel is still not touching the blade. Turn it until it makes contact. So it makes good contact and, and the drive wheel is not slipping. And turn it an extra quarter turn and it's adjusted. Now close the cover and the thumb wheel and you're ready to go. First open the cover, turn the thumb wheel, slide the cover out of the way. Turn so the guide wheel is facing this way and use the face spanner to engage the two holes and the T-wrench to loosen the screw. And now, first, back off the tension adjuster so the blade is not touching the drive wheel. And loosen both guide rollers until they stop. And then just slide the blade out. 